Hey developer and welcome to another Recode World video. For today's content we have a very special task and that's the implementation of an image search engine that doesn't rely on any third party service. This means that it will work totally on your computer or server. This task can be achieved with the help of neural networks using TensorFlow and Keras. Image search engines analyze an image and ask some basic questions about it. For example, is there a face on the picture, or more than one, which colors appears on the image and how frequently, what's the resolution of the picture. Searchers can then narrow down their search based on this information. In this video, we will explain you quickly how to implement your own image search engine. As first step, we will download the source code of the simple image search project written from scratch by Yusuke Matsui. He is an assistant professor at the Institute of Industrial Science at the University of Tokyo, Japan. Our workspace will be in this case on the desktop, so we will switch from directory in the terminal and we'll clone the project in there with Git. If you don't have Git installed, you can read how to install it in the official article. After cloning the project, we will be able to implement it on our own computer. What you need to do first after cloning the project is to install all the dependencies required by the project using Python pip. If you don't have pip installed, you can read how to install it in the official article as well. The packages that will be installed are Pillow. Pillow is a friendly fork of Pill, the Python imaging library. H5PI is a Pythonic interface to the HDF5 binary data format. TensorFlow is the core open source library to help you to develop and train ML models. Keras is a high level neural networks API, written in Python and capable of running on top of TensorFlow. And finally, Flask, which is a micro framework for Python. It will be used to display graphical results of the search engine in our examples. After installing the dependencies, we will need to do some manual job. The logic of the search engine is simple. You will search an image that matches with your own image database, so you will need to provide it. This is nothing more than plain GPG images that need to be stored on the static image directory of the clone project. We already downloaded some images of dogs, hot dogs, and hamburgers, so we only need to move them to the desired directory and that's it, at least for now. The image search engine needs to have deeply more than plain images but the specific information from the images that can be extracted with a very special algorithm. The script that will help to extract previously all the information that the search engine needs to work will be generated by the offline.pi script. This script extracts deep features from images, given a set of a database images. A 1496D FC6 layer feature is extracted for each image using the BGG16 network with ImageNet pretrinet weights. To generate the PKL files, run the offline.p script on the root directory of the cloned project with Python. Due to its depth and number of fully connected nodes, BGG16 is over 530 megabytes. This will be downloaded once you run the script for the first time. Once the script finishes, you will find the mentioned PKL files that our project needs to work. Finally, as mentioned during the installation of the dependencies, the project comes with a ready-to-use example based on a web interface that has been built using Flask. This interface, which is basically a simple HTML page with a single file input and some titles, will allow you to upload a file to the same page and it will return as a result images that are related to your search. You can start the server running the server.bi script. According to the images that you have and your search, the results will vary. And that's it. 
There you have your own image search engine. Additionally, you may modify the way the project works, of course, because it's an open source project. You may modify it as you want. You may simply create as well a Python script that prints only the data that you need in the terminal, the order of the items that match the query, and so on. For example, the following script that we wrote, and you can get in our official website, basically search for a specific image. In our case, we provide a static hamburger image, so we expect to have a first result in our hamburgers, of course. The script will create a dictionary with the results and will store the data on a JSON file. You can use this example, for example, to create your own API or other related stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.